Mostar. Before the Civil War 15 years ago, this historic town was a symbol of the harmonious unification between the East and West. But when fighting erupted, Bosnia's second largest city was torn apart. These days, the tourists have returned. Mostar's world-famous bazaar has been rebuilt, and the town has been given UNESCO heritage status. But behind the peaceful facade, an invisible wall now divides the city. The old front line was not on the river, but here, along what was once the main road, and in front it has remained until today. The trauma of war and deportation runs deep here. Most young Croats have never been to the eastern Muslim part of Mostar. The majority of young Muslims do not know the Croatian part of the city. This is the former Imperial Academy. The war damage is being repaired and for three years now the traditional building has been used as a United World College, an international school with a special mission. The 200 students come from all former republics of Yugoslavia and from 31 other countries in the world. They all had to apply for selection and will live and learn together for two years. The project is sponsored internationally and the teachers come from different continents. International education may simply mean education of students from uh, different countries. Uh, as the United World College, we are much more concerned with uh, the nurturing of international values, uh, a strong sense of uh, the global forces at work, um, uh, notions of tolerance and freedom from prejudice, uh, willingness to put back uh, into, the, into the community. The other schools in Mostar, however, are characterized by the exact opposite of openness and tolerance. The kids here are taught either a Croat version of reality or a Muslim Bosnian reality, particularly in history lessons. There are no compromises, says the writer Veslin Gitalo. He is an independent observer of the situation. As one of the few remaining Serbs, he is of neither side. War is not over. War is stopped. Everybody thinks that something could be gained uh, during next war or... Actually, everybody tries to make the situation worse than ever. And they gain political points on that. And they have good base for that. I am telling you again, not resolved national issue. Two schools under one roof is currently the answer to the nation's unresolved conflict. Bosnians and Croats are taught separately. Unity is not an option. That would be a big problem. Unthinkable. There is too much hatred against each other's religions. Really impossible. There would be too many fights among students. There is an hour interval between Croatian and Bosnian classes to prevent students from meeting each other. I believe that we, the young people who are not involved in the war, we should be able to get over it. But if the other side doesn't want to, then we don't want to. When it comes to the war, the young can change nothing. The United World College has set itself the goal of uniting the surrounding area of Bosnia as much as it can. Students and teachers of different origins speak to the community in school and in everyday encounters. It's a kind of model for education in post-war situations. Two students from the same college, one from the Croatian region and one from the Muslim region. We want to know how college life impacts on their relationship. Both of us are actually the best friends. He is a Croat and I am a Bosnian. Uh, here in UWC college, we don't have any problems with that kind of tensions. I see uh, here the people from a totally different perspective and I live with that people and, and I feel with them. I know what they are thinking about and, and that we actually have the same uh, way of thinking. In the place where I lived before, uh, it was hard to imagine uh, what a Croat is, what a Serb is, what, the, what they think about us. Vera comes from Germany. She believes that the social commitment of the school is important. 
She and other volunteers operate a project for Roma children. Once a week, they visit the outcast Roma children on the outskirts of Mostar. They play and dance with them and give them simple lessons. I find it very condescending the way people in this part of town send regular kids, some of them very intelligent, to a special needs school. That shows a real arrogant attitude. It's like saying, no, you don't belong here. You're different. You're worthless. You can't play with our kids. Most people in Bosnia don't even know that these people exist. They are never registered and they have no papers. The Roma children feel as though outsiders never usually deal with them. Two Englishmen visited us and we learnt together. I enjoy these lessons. We're good friends. I like everything about it, what we do and what we tell each other. I like to learn their language, but I also hope they'll learn mine. I really like the lessons I have here. I'm in good company, we play, nobody calls me a gypsy and nobody provokes me. I would be happy doing this every day. On her way back, Vera runs into Mirwais. Mirwais comes from Afghanistan. The story of his escape could fill the pages of an adventure novel. A few years ago, he came to Austria. In just three months, he learned German. After a year, he was the best in his class and moved to the Polytechnic College. And then he heard about a college in Mostar. One day, a man came to give a talk at my school and gave me an information leaflet about the college. Once I'd read it, I couldn't think about anything else for the whole day. I was just mad about the school. I went home and read the leaflet over and over again until 3 in the morning. I read all I could about that school and couldn't sleep. It's hard to describe how excited I felt. The youthful idealism of Mirwais and his schoolmates from all over the world will not bring quick results. Something the United College is aware of. This is a very long-term project. And in order for us to have any real impact, uh, both here in Mostar and also on the educational and social landscape in Bosnia and Herzegovina, we could be talking about a generation. But the founder of Yugoslavia, Marshal Tito, thought that even several generations would not be enough to create the basis for a lasting coexistence of Bosnia's peoples. <laughs>